opportunity for all Georgians to live freely. But my opponent, radical liberal Raphael Warnock, is a socialist. He supports policies that would grow our government, bankrupt hardworking families with high taxes. The cost of the Green New Deal on every Georgian family would be $75,000, and taxes would go up $2,000 per family. That's why I'm focused on helping every single Georgian succeed. Have you reached out to minority communities to hear their issues and what they're thinking and what they're feeling? Absolutely. I have built my career based on bringing folks together to lift everyone up. That's what I've done from day one. In fact, I just introduced my prosperity plan that would bring much needed capital, access to capital, to small businesses and minority communities because our country has failed in that area. That's one way we can help. We can also make sure that we protect school choice. The Democrats would overturn school choice, trapping children, uh, their destiny for education within their zip code. I'm fighting to make sure that we fund school choice and support kids to live their dream, to have that education. But I'm also making sure we keep taxes low. The taxes, uh, the Jobs uh, Act that, that Raphael Warnock would overturn would raise taxes on single moms making $39,000 with two kids. Their taxes would go up 20%. That's not a way to help hardworking families here in Georgia succeed. Greg Bluestein, your turn to ask a question. Yeah, and this next question is for both candidates. Uh, we'll start with Reverend. Do you plan to accept a coronavirus vaccine when public health experts uh, declare it to be safe? And if so, how do you plan to persuade the public to take it? Absolutely. When, when our health professionals tell us that we have a vaccine that works uh, and is effective and safe, uh, I will take it. I will encourage uh, the folks who listen to me, people who are in my church uh, and in the community to take it. But also I will try to work hard as a senator to make sure that communities that are so often marginalized don't find themselves at the back of the line again, that they have access uh, to the vaccine. So often they find themselves at the back of the line. And I've spent my life standing up, fighting for ordinary people. Kelly Leffler is trying to uh, misrepresent me because she knows that she has spent the first 10 months, all 10 months of her tenure, thinking about herself. She's the unelected senator of Georgia. She was appointed. The people of Georgia have been disappointed. And they're looking for somebody who will stand up for ordinary people. I've spent my life doing that as a citizen, and I'll do it as a U.S. senator. You have 30 seconds to respond to that before Greg asks this question of you. You know, I have spent every single day working for Georgians. I'm 100 percent about Georgia. That was my calling to public service. I was blessed to live the American dream, and I want Georgians to live theirs. I was a job creator right here in Georgia. I'm the only person in this race that knows how to help Georgians. I've created jobs. He's never created a job in his life. But yet he's advocated for high taxes that would crush small businesses and families seeking that opportunity. He would take away school choice for kids who want to have that leg up. And he would play politics just as Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer have done, holding up relief for political reasons. Reasons, and I think that's completely wrong. Greg? Yeah, a reminder of the question, do you plan to accept the coronavirus vaccine if public health experts say it's safe? And if so, how do you uh, intend to persuade the public to take it? Absolutely. I was with Vice President Pence on Friday at the CDC. I could not be more proud of what we've done this year to deliver relief, uh, but also get cures, uh, vaccines and therapies that are effective. And so I'm going to encourage my fellow Georgians to stay safe, to get that vaccine. And we have a great plan to prioritize those communities who need it most, and we will make sure that that's carried out. But my opponent will continue to play politics with the pandemic, telling lies and trying to achieve political objectives that would try to radically change our country at a moment of a pandemic. I'm going to continue to fight for every single Georgian to have the freedoms and the opportunities that they deserve and not be crushed by big government that would have government mandated health care, that would provide free health care for illegal immigrants, that would raise their taxes to pay for government health care, and that would bankrupt Medicare. I'm making sure that Georgians have the resources they need while we keep our taxes and our government low and small. 
Lisa, it's your turn to ask a question. Dr. Warnock, Katina Stravalakis is an Atlanta business owner who had to close her doors because she was unable to pay thousands in back rent due to the pandemic. President-elect Joe Biden considers it a top priority to get a generous stimulus package through Congress, and you said you support that. But if you were to speak to Katina, what would you ensure her that you would do in Washington to help her and other business owners get the help that they need? Well, my dad was a small business owner, and so I understand the struggle that small business owners have. And I spent time in my church creating a financial literacy center uh, that helps people to get started. And so I think a good sign of what someone will do in office is what they were doing before they ever went into office. And I've spent my whole career standing up for ordinary people, uh, trying to, in fact, we had a job center in my church contrary to what Senator Leffler is trying to suggest. And uh, I have uh, stood up for ordinary workers time and time again. You know, during this pandemic, we call people essential workers. We ought to pay them an essential wage. And we ought to provide small business owners like her the assistance and the support that they need. Uh, Kelly Leffler is out of touch. She's thinking about people who are like her. And uh, I'm okay with the fact that she wants to make money. I just think you shouldn't use the people's seat to enrich yourself. You ought to use the people's seat to represent the people. I'd like to respond. Please do. Look, these are more lies from radical liberal Raphael Warnock, 